This program is brought to you by Link TV for educational and non-commercial use only. Recently, Colin Powell, a highly respected international statesman and a member of the Republican Party, endorsed Barack Obama for U.S. President. On Meet the Press, Powell stated that both candidates, Barack Obama and John McCain, were qualified to be president, but he repudiated his Republican Party for moving too far to the right. Then he criticized the way some party leaders have been trying to cast doubt about Obama's Christian faith by referring to his father's religion, Islam, or his middle name, Hussein. In fact, Republicans have been painting Obama as a socialist with an Islamic background. Now I have my issues and personal views about Colin Powell, which begin with his testimony at the United Nations Security Council about what we know now to be fabricated claims about Iraq's alleged WMD's program. Nevertheless, Powell was bold and honest when he broached the subject of Islamophobia head on. This is what Powell had to say. I'm also troubled by not what Senator McCain says, but what members of the party say. And it is permitted to be said such things as, well, you know that Mr. Obama is a Muslim. Well, the correct answer is he is not a Muslim. He's a Christian. He's always been a Christian. But the really right answer is, what if he is? Is there something wrong with being a Muslim in this country? The answer is no, that's not America. Racism and religious persecution is nothing new in America, or for that matter, in the rest of the world. The African-American community had to endure it for 400 years. Almost every new immigrant community had to go through the racial and religious litmus test. Sometimes I feel that you cannot be a real American until you deal with it, endure it, and perhaps live long enough to address it as a subject of the past. We can fight it, we can reduce it, but I do not know if we can totally eradicate it. There will be always a xenophobic individual around to spew hatred against someone who he or she deems different. But really, is there something wrong with being a Muslim in this country? Especially when young American Muslims are fighting and dying for this country. Powell went on to tell this moving story. I feel strongly about this particular point because of a picture I saw in a magazine. It was a photo essay about troops who were serving in Iraq and Afghanistan. And one picture at the tail end of this photo essay was of a mother in Arlington Cemetery. And she had her head on the headstone of her son's grave. And as the picture focused in, you could see the writing on the headstone. And it gave his awards, Purple Heart, Bronze Star, showed that he died in Iraq, gave his date of birth, date of death. He was 20 years old. And then at the very top of the headstone, it didn't have a Christian cross. It didn't have a star of David. It had a crescent and a star of the Islamic faith. And his name was Kareem Rashad Sultan Khan. And he was an American. He was born in New Jersey. He was 14 years old at the time of 9-11. And he waited until he can go serve his country, and he gave his life. Muslims in America are enduring their share of religious persecution. But when a Republican general goes on national television to say, hey, hold it, stop polarizing America around Muslims, maybe we have just seen a tipping point. I'm Jamal Dejani for the Mosaic Intelligence Report. To learn more about this program or to share your thoughts, visit us at linktv.org mosaic. You can always visit my blog at the Huffington Post. This program was brought to you by Link TV for educational and non-commercial use only. Link TV is the only U.S. television network devoted to global and national news with uncompromising documentaries and diverse cultural programs, programs which connect you to the world.